Welcome to the Kentucky Speedway in Sparta, Kentucky for today's smoke production series race, the Valvoline Max Life 100. My name is, as you know, Rudolph Jones. Here to bring you live flag to flag coverage of tonight's race, once again in 14 TV HD. Well, Tyler Speed, we all know he's headed towards a new team in Season 4. He'll start on the pole after, well, this kid has just had zero luck lately. Hopefully it'll come back to him today. Two is outside. Patrick Curtis, as you all know, he has a GNS ride for next season. Sean Hill has no ride for next season. Matt Wickelman is secure with JCF Racing. Chris Summers in fifth, one of the main points contenders. His main rival, Sean Galligan, the points leader, is just a few spots back. C.P. Dobbs, good qualifying run for him. He'll start sixth. Your winner at Hattiesburg, Bobby Sweats. Wait, not Hattiesburg, I'm sorry, Phoenix. will start uh, seventh. Aaron Aldridge will start 8th, Kenny Hansen will start ninth, and Corey Long, with a fresh new paint scheme for next season, will be white and red, will start 10th. Back to the front, Tyler Speed has not won since Mexico City in Season 1. He was part-time in Season 1, went part-time in Season 2, and so far in Season 3, he's just had zero luck. He's way back in the 30s in points. And this kid really needs a resurgence. He'll probably get it with McCall Limbaugh Motorsports next season. His feature after season four is unknown. But well, we're ready to kick this race off. Here we go. Tyler Speed will lead him up. Whoa, and he's going to the apron. What, what the heck is going on with that 99? And this slew of bad luck will continue as he will putt, putt, putt across the finish, start finish line. And here comes Sean Hill looking for the lead, but Speed's slew of bad luck will continue as he is stalled on the racetrack. Sean Hill, whoa, look at, Chris, look at Chris Summers bottling Patrick Curtis up the track. <laughs> this shows you the will that Summers has to try and win this championship. He will do anything for it. He's so many points back, he's in do anything for the championship mode. And there's his teammate, Bobby Sweats. And there's Patrick Curtis trying to thread the needle up there. He is quite possibly the best Nissan out there right now. And there we go. He'll take the lead. Mark Riggleman announced Curtis will finish out the season in the number 83. And here comes Summers to his inside. Action racing on the move. They've been on a roll lately. But here comes their main rival, Sean Galligan. These guys are bitter enemies on the track, but they're good friends off the track. Summers will take the lead. He needs to win, and he needs to do it now. And there's his teammate, Bobby Sweats, who won the last race at Phoenix. Stole it from Paul Fodd on the very last lap. And there's Kenny Hansen in, moving up to third, and now Sean Galligan, the points leader. Moving up in the world. Just been absolutely dominant this season. JCF Racing as a whole has been dominating. There's Matt Wickelman who already has one of JCF's, I believe it's eight or nine wins this season. There's Josh Fonseca who will be on the move to Papias Motorsports next season. In, in which, as many of you know, he will be breaking away from JCF. And... Josh Fonseca will be part of his new organization. And there's the man himself, Papias, up there. And Sean Galligan will also be there with Papias. And Brendan McDowell will also be there. And Summer's starting to pull away. Or as maybe I should say, Action Racing is starting to pull away. Where's the defending winner of this race, Mark Wiggleman? Yeah, he's in 37th. Not exactly having the best of luck tonight. And there's Kenny Hansen moving into the inside on Bobby Sweats. Could this finally be the day Chris Summers has a good day? Or night, I should say. Hansen is right there. And Zeke's sliding up trying to get, catch up to him. We are seven laps in now, and here comes Hanson to the inside. But we see a battle. Let's see this battle. Summer's hanging it loose on the outside. K 
Can he get that run he needs? And yes, he will. No, he won't. Yes, he will. Ooh. And I think he will. Summers will keep the lead or not. Summers, I mean, uh, Hansen is starting to become a big picture in the uh, title hunt. This race rages on and the title hunt rages on. As we will take a short break, we will be right back. Welcome back to Sparta, Kentucky, everybody. Kenny Hansen has taken the lead. Matt Wickelman trying to regain third from Brian Page. I mean, second from Brian Page. Summers has slipped back a few positions. But he's been a front runner thus far. And Mason Elliott, he has just had no luck in the past few weeks. And he's looking to come back tonight. Can he finally get his first Smoke Productions win? We will find out. We still got 10 laps to go when we come to the stripe. But Mason Elliott, a hot headed rookie from McCall Limbaugh Motorsports, the Limbaugh family. He is a cousin of Sam Limbaugh. And here comes Matt Wickelman to the inside. As you know, JCF will be switching to Chrysler's next season. Matt Wickelman is a part of it. He says he can't wait to step into Chrysler's. And there's Brian Page. Look, he's looking for his third win of the season. Since his two wins so far, he has just had nothing going on in that 18 car. He won the biggest, the first race of the year, I should say. And then he won at Texas in a heartbreaker with Jonathan Feld. Where is Feld anyway? Let's take a look at him. And there she is in 34th. That is the exact paint scheme he lost the Texas race in. And now Brian Page starting to take control. Chris Summers. Ooh. This hot-headed driver is looking for second now. He's got to get past Matt Wickelman first. Whoa! Almost made contact with the 33. And here comes Summers back in the second. Now he's got to hunt down that 18. And hold off a hard charging. Hanson, Wickelman, and Elliott who's up to fourth. Mason is up to fourth. Bobby Sweat's working with Josh Fonseca. These two went to high school together. No joke. Now Mick Marski really knows how to get it done on these size tracks. And there's Summers. He needs to get some help from Mason Elliott back there. Brian Page. He's looking for his third win of the season, as I stated earlier. He can probably do it. This number won Kentucky's NASCAR Sprint Cup race, number 18. But with the M&M sponsorship. M&M's has sponsored Page in a couple races. But Interstate Batteries, yeah, as you know, has been the majority sponsor. Here comes Mason, and I thought I saw some smoke. Oh, and Bobby Sweats is upside down. Uh-oh, Bobby is upside down, and Caution is out. We got to get your replay of Bobby Sweats. All right, here's what happened. Bobby Sweats just got rammed into by Mick Marski and hard into Kenny Hansen, and then he's just flipping all the way down the front stretch. And, oh, Kevin Hensley and Jonathan Feld right hard into him. That has got to be a wild roller coaster ride. Kenny Hansen, what a shame for him. He was a main contender in this race, but if you ask me, Mick Marski was to blame in that one, and he keeps going. You can tell Brian Page can't be happy about this one. It's a caution. That leaves Mason Elliott right behind him and Chris Summers. We will be right back here on 14 TV. Welcome back, everybody. When we get back to the stripe... We'll have two laps to decide this one. Can Brian Page hold off and get his third win of the season? Or will Mason Elliott get by him and get his first win in his career? Green flag is out. Brian Page will lead us off. And he's going to pull away. But keep an eye on that 77. And that 19. You never know. Chris Summers could get by these two. Mason's trying to stay with Page. He has yet to win a race this season. This is his rookie season. He hasn't been too good in the rookie of the year standings. Or season, I should say. Rookie of the season. And here we go. Can he catch up to Page? He's right there. Mason looking for first. And Summers is also there. White flag. Will Brian Page hang on? Here comes Mason Elliott to the inside. 
Man, how proud his cousin Sam Limbaugh would be if he won this one. Here we go. Here comes Mason. Can he get there? Paige is hanging on tight. And there's Chris Summers lurking behind them. You never know. He could make a move. But he's going to help Mason for the most part. And the 77 will take the lead. Can it finally get a win? Before it switches hands. Checker flag is out and Mason Elliott is going to win it at Kentucky. What a race for that young man, Mason Elliott. Finally getting his first win after a very heartbreaking season thus far. Man, you got to think Sam Limbaugh is jumping up and down in his seat hearing that his cousin, hand-picked by Sam Limbaugh, has just won his race. His first race, I should say. Chris Summers. Summers is saying on the radio, man, congrats to Mason. And that's definitely going to give Summers a lot of momentum in the points. Because Sean, back in 21st, that can't be good for the 44. Let's get your full results. And there's that 87. He's got to be a proud cousin right now. <laughs> Here's your full results. Congrats to Mason. Sam, you handpicked this guy, and he finally did it. I don't know what the hell is happening with the 99, but... Uh... Um, I'm sorry about that, Tyler, but uh, I don't know. As you know, the game did this. I didn't do this. Anyways, congrats to Mason. Finally doing it for the first time. We'll see you later.